Okay, so I'm ready to put all of my solutions into the cuvettes. So I'm ready for the um, Spectronic 200, so we're gonna use the Spec 20 feature of that. Um, so I'm just gonna have a um, cuvette that is this little square looking test tube type thing. Um, so this is gonna fit down into our machine that I will show you in just a minute. Um, but we need to have one that's just water, plain distilled water. Um, so I'm gonna fill each of these up to the line. And then in the next test, or in the next cuvettes, I'll put in um, the solutions that we made for our calibration curve. And so I just moved them to these little brown bottles so that I could use um, this pipette. It will make it easier to transfer from the bottle to the cuvette. Okay, and I'm just doing it in order one milliliter to 10 or to 15 milliliters. And then there's a little mark on each of these cuvettes. I'm filling each of those up um, to that mark. So that was the one milliliter. Next is the five milliliter. That way, once my spec 20 is ready to use, I can just make these readings back to back to back. I don't have to come back and forth between um, each test tube and fill up another cuvette. Okay, so that is our five milliliters. Again, you've calculated the concentration of these solutions using that dilution equation. This one is 10 milliliters. And the last one has is the 15. Okay, so next we will move over to our Spectronic 200 to use that um, Spec 20 feature of it. Um, but I have all of my solutions ready to go. Um, so we'll just move that over and start with making our measurements for the calibration curve. Also for this, for the cuvettes, I do need some chem wipes because uh, I want to wipe off any fingerprints that might be on our cuvettes before I put them into the Spec 20. So again, this is a Spectronic 200, so it's a uh, spectrophotometer meter. Um, so we're going to use that to measure how much light goes through these solutions. Um, so you can see the directions for use of this Spectronic 200 um, on your handout or in the PowerPoint that was provided to you. Um, so I have already turned it on and I want, it's already gone through those initializing steps. Uh, I made sure that this was empty, so this opens. That's where our cuvette is going to go. Um, so this one is um, ready to move on. Um, so again, we're using the Spec 20 feature. So I'm gonna scroll down to the Spec 20 and then pick that. And then I want to select our um, wavelength. Um, so we're gonna adjust the wavelength to 405 nanometers with this little knob here. So 405 nanometers. So if you just turn that knob, it changes it by about 10 nanometers at a time. But if you press down with the knob and over, you will, uh, you can change it by one nanometer at a time. So here I am at 405 nanometers and then I'm ready to um, calibrate this machine. Um, so we're going to calibrate it with just water in it, so plain water, that's why I have a cuvette with um, just the distilled water in it. Before I put that cuvette in the machine, I want to just make sure that, actually I'm gonna get another, there's a lot of bubbles in that one. I don't want a lot of bubbles in there. But I do want to wipe it off, okay? So you don't want to have any fingerprints on there, anything. So I'm taking that chem wipe and wiping it off. Okay, so that cube out of just water looks better. Um, so you probably can't see this in the video, but there's a little notch on the front, um, a triangle. I want to make sure that I put these cuvettes in the same way every time. Um, so when I open this up, I'm going to have that little triangle. I'll try to take a picture of it um, pointing towards the left. Okay, so each time I put something into my um, machine here, I wanna make sure that that cuvette is, is handled the same way, okay? And then we're going, so I have my water in there, um, so we're gonna zero the machine. So this is going to um, read to us percent transmittance. If there's nothing in there, just water, just plain distilled water, um, our transmittance should read 100% um, not zero. It should read 100, so that corresponds with zero absorbance. Okay, so again, just to perform that auto zero 
on our water. Then once we do that, we've calibrated the machine, we can go through and put each of our samples in there and write down those percent transmittances. Okay, so that's good. Again, I wanna make sure that I put in my, my um, samples the same way each time. So I'm gonna wipe them off. Make sure there's no fingerprints on there. I don't think there's any bubbles in there either. And then that triangle is going to point towards the left each time I put in my sample. And then we can record um, what the transminence is. So this is for the cuvette that this, the, this is for the solution that has one milliliter of potassium chromate. So that percent transminence is going to be 92.8%. And the absorbent, you're gonna to have to calculate the absorbance from our percent transminences. Um, so the absorbance is equal to two minus the log of percent T. Percent T is the percent transminence, which is what our um, machine is reading to us. So for the first solution that has one milliliter of potassium chromate, that percent transminence is 92.2. Eight, 92.8. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next one. This one has the five milliliters of potassium chromate. Wiping that cuvette off and then lining up my triangle to the left. Our percent transminence is 68.4%. 68.4% for the solution that has five milliliters of potassium chromate. So moving on to the, the solution with 10 milliliters of potassium chromate. I wiped off my cuvette, I lined it up the right way. Our percent transminence is 50.2%, 50.2%. And then our last one for the calibration curve is the solution that has 15 milliliters of our potassium chromate. So I'm gonna just get that cuvette wiped off and ready. Line up that triangle to the left. Close the door. And then the percent transminence is 31.6, 31.6%. So again, once you have done this, you will be able to find you will be able to construct a calibration curve. Um, so for your calibration curve, you're plotting, for your calibration curve, you're going to plot the absorbance versus the concentration. Um, so we went through with the spec 20 and got all of our percent T's. So you're gonna have to calculate your percent T. You're gonna have to calculate the absorbance uh, from the percent T, and then you're plotting the concentration and the absorbance. So you're plotting absorbance versus concentration, uh, and then you will fit that um, plot with a line of best fit. That is your calibration curve. Uh, it's actually not going to be a curve, it's going to be a straight line, and you're going to use that calibration curve to determine the concentration of some unknown solutions.